Hi everyone, I made a um, fun packaging that you can um, create using your We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board to send um, some happy mail and a fun little way that you can um, gift embellishments. So I used my envelope punch board and the projects that I created in here is also using the envelope punch board. So basically my um, focus was to use just this board and have a fun way to um, send some embellishments. So this is what I created and it's just a envelope box and um, I added some of this jute twine and then this fun tag from the Maggie Holmes Chasing Dreams paper pad and what you're going to do is you're going to just wrap it around and then I add a Velcro for the closure. This cute little dimensional heart is using um, this new die that I picked up. Um, this is Sizzix Tim Holtz. Um, what is this called? F faceted heart die. It makes a really adorable dimensional heart. And this is the smaller one. So when you open up the envelope box, you just open it up like so. And then you're going to add some um, tissue to wrap it. And then I just add this um, adhesive sticker from one of the Maggie Holmes collection. And then you just open it up. And then you can give some really pretty embellishments. And I'll put the links to all the videos um, that I posted a tutorial on these projects. So um, this one, I don't have a tutorial. This is just using the Dear Lizzie um, ribbon die, and then I added a rosette using the Brenda Walton's medallions die, and then just some chipboard adhesive stickers from one of the Maggie Holmes collection. So you can, you know, add a little um, tag or an embellishment, and then I like to add a sticky dot on the back in case the recipient wants to adhere it to a project. So this is um, that envelope pocket. And again, I'll put all the links to the video. And I added a fun flower that I created. So you can put you know, your embellishments in the envelope. Um, this project was the pocket with tag project. And then this is a bow, again, using the punch board. And then I added some rosettes. And then here's the tag. So you could put you know, your message on there. And then I just tied some upholstery thread and some of this fun fiber that I picked up during the Christmas time at Joanne. So I add that. Um, here's another project, again, making some bows. I believe this is a medium sized bow. So I made two. This is making a little book. And then the closure is just this little Velcro. And then you can add some die cuts, like so. Um, this is where I created a spool. And then I added some of that um, crepe paper using the um, glitter, what is this, the glitter glue from um, Hobby Lobby. Forgot the name, oh here it is. Got it right here. It's the Glitterific. I added some of that Glitterific, which I shared in a video. So I made a spool to hold that. And then this one is a little matchbook. And then you can add your embellishment. And then it just closes like so. Oops. Like that. So all these projects is using the envelope punch board and you can make um, some fun embellishments that you want to send out. And then it just goes inside like so. And then you just close it with some tissue and a sticker, or a chipboard sticker. And then you just wrap it up like that. So let me show you how to create this little envelope here. So you're gonna need your punch board. And the paper is going to be 11 and a half by 11 and a half. 
and then you're going to let's see here score at four and seven eighths so line it at four and seven eighths and then score now you can see it doesn't score all the way down to the paper so what I do is I just fold it just fold it really carefully to create the full score line and then you're going to take that next score line and line it up with this right here. This little, you line that with the score guide. So line that score line. As you can see, it doesn't go any further, the measurement. So use that as your guide. And then you're going to punch and then score. And again, this doesn't go all the way down, so you'll have to fold that. And then you're just going to follow the rest of the score line. So line this with the score guide. And then you're going to punch, score, and then line it again, punch, and then score. So just fold that. And this width is basically, let's see, what's the width of this? It's three quarters of an inch, okay? So let's do the next one. A punch. And then line it up. So all you need is just your envelope punch board and you can make all sorts of different packaging for your embellishments using this board and gift it to someone. Okay, so we're going to do that. And then what you're going to do next is you're going to take you know, your scissors and then on the longer side you're going to cut you know your slits just cut on the bottom and then the top and then you can corner around your corners okay I mean that's optional and then you're going to take I just use a glue dot and I love this sticky thumb glue dot that I find at Tuesday Morning by American Crafts. This stuff is really sticky. And this is the half inch glue dot. They're very, um, really thick dots and then it's very strong, which I like. So we're going to add that to those tabs. Just peel. And then you can use, you know, any pretty wrapping tissue to wrap up your embellishments in. Just a fun little way to send some, you know, handmade or store-bought embellishments to somebody. Just add this. Okay. So then now you're going to just peel those out. And then close it up. So just line that up. Just to all four sides. Okay, and then these are going to go, these are going to be pushed back. So fold these back. You can do that before you adhere the four sides. It's up to you. But these get pushed back. So it's easier to open the envelope box. Okay, and then you're going to, of course, you know, add your tissue and then all your embellishments. 
and then you're going to close it up and then I, again I add a little velcro on there and then you're going to take your twine and you can add a tag that's optional and you're going to wrap it first you're going to wrap it over like so let's take that out and then I line it up make sure this is lined up and there's no specific measurement on the twine it's however long you want it to be so just wrap it like that and then just cross it over like that so it looks like that and then you're just going to flip it over then make a tie and then make your bow okay just like that and then of course you can add your tag or you know whatever you want and you can decorate the front um, as much as you want I just made mine really simple I just add that dimensional heart but I just thought it's a fun way to use your envelope punch board to create some fun um, embellishment packaging um, for your crafty friend so thanks for watching bye